Welcome to Run Baby Run Arena in Jersey City, home of the St. Peter's Peacocks, where history potentially awaits this team from the MAC. St. Peter's trying to be the first 15 seed ever to go to the final four. They're taking on North Carolina. Winner goes to New Orleans. Let's check out the scene inside Run Baby Run Arena with a spot in the final four on the line. It's about 15 minutes until tip off here at Run Baby Run Arena and the line is already out the door, out until the quad right now. I mean, you can sense the buzz trying to go to the Final Four for the first time ever. It's house money at this point. They're already the first 15 seed to go to the Elite Eight. And I mean, it's crazy. There's thousands of people walking in right now. This is the first time in school history something like this has ever happened. Could it be the last? We don't know. But that's why you enjoyed the present right now because this is March history. All right, we are here with Gene O'Connell. There's a sign of him here, and here he is in real life, class of 1968 from St. Peter's University. Here we are, 2022. Would you ever think that this was possible for uni your university? Well, 54 years later, and I haven't changed a bit, but we are so proud of this team, and it's like deja vu all over again. We're gonna play Duke in the, in the Final Four. So, Duke, watch out, they haven't beat us yet, and they're gonna be in for another one. So you've already called your shot. North Carolina's a win today. Oh, definitely. Uh, they're not going to be able to shoot against this defense for St. Peter's. The guys are terrific. The coach is unbelievable. And uh, we're looking for uh, a big win. They certainly made us the second best team in St. Peter's history. All right, we have made it inside Run Baby Run Arena here on the campus of St. Peter's University. There are thousands of peacocks in the wild right now. They are 40 minutes away from going to the Final Four. Two weeks ago, that sounded like something that was not even remotely possible. Maybe a win against Kentucky to make a little bit of a history. But now, a win against North Carolina and this university, this team is going to New Orleans. It is game time from Philadelphia. It's about to get rowdy here in Jersey City. You guys, are you guys ready to go to the Final Four? Ready! Yeah. Final ready. Four. Yo, yo, ready. we're about to play Mike K. And Mike K's gonna retire. He's about to go out to the Peacocks from Jersey City. The Jersey City. Yo, shout out Boston St. Peter's. We're trying to get verified because we, because yo, the fan base here might be small, but we're louder than everybody else. Because we don't care. We don't okay. care who the program is. Let's go, Peacocks! UNC is canceled. Coach K ain't got nothing on us. Go Holloway. Peacocks, three cocks. I'm so shocked. Actually, I'm so shocked because I, I think I'm part of this journey. Because the way I started as a doc, as a student, it was so hard for me. I was about to give up as a student. But once I see these young students persevere, I decided I'm not gonna give up hope. I'm so happy to be a part of this journey. Woo, go Peacock, woo! I mean, the buzz is here. There's really no other way to describe it. I'll say this. The confidence is through the roof from this fan base right now. They're already talking about ending Coach K's career. First, they have to finish another blue blood in UNC, but how can you blame them? They've already beaten Kentucky. They've beaten one of the best mid-majors in Murray State. They just took down Purdue. This is madness. Hey, Peter. Peter, can we get a word? You guys are down 38-19, getting doubled up at the break. What do you have to do to have a shot in the second half? Dribble, dribble, shoot, score, celebrate. Are you guys gonna make this comeback or are you about to make more history? He believes, why not? All right, we've got some St. Peter's students here right now. The Peacocks are down 21, but do you still want Doug to have your babies despite this result? Doug hasn't been playing so well today, but since day one, I've wanted him to have my babies. Doug, have my babies. We obviously want Doug to have the babies. That's not even a question. You know where to find me. <laughs> you can have my kids even before the tournament, even uh, after the tournament. At any time, he'll have my kids. On the court right now, he can have my kids. I think people decide if someone's gonna have their kids like nine months before they actually do. So like 40 minutes ago, we thought Doug was gonna have our kids. We can't just switch, you know? Wouldn't be fair. All right, so a final four run for the St. Peter's Peacocks. Unfortunately, it was just not meant to be. It was North Carolina from the start all the way to the finish in this Elite Eight game, and it'll be Duke UNC in a mammoth 
Final Four game in New Orleans next week. However, let's not forget this historical run that St. Peter's University went on over the last few weeks. If you told anybody two, three weeks ago that the Peacocks would be 40 minutes away from the Final Four, I don't think anyone would believe you except for the people in this building. And they still brought the energy and then some. What an atmosphere. What a run. We will never forget the 2022 NCAA tournament run by Shaheen Holloway and the St. Peter's Peacocks.